Okay, Scott and Kieran here from Southwest Boxing Media in association with Brixton Streetwear. Delighted to be joined by heavyweight star Huey Fury. Huey, how are you, mate? Yeah, not too bad, so how are you? Oh, well, we can't complain the weather's lovely. I just wish we didn't wear our skinny jeans, Keith. Yeah, I know. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, the weather in here is hot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is. <laughs> I mean, you've been working hard in the gym and, uh, you know, looking very good as well, Huey. Um, you feeling good as well, mate? Yeah, like I said, I've been um, training and stuff, it's ready to go and uh, looking forward to getting back in the ring. It's been a long time training, so I just can't wait now to get in the ring and go. You, you built this fantastic gym on your land, Huey. I mean, just tell us what was the, the reasoning behind doing that, mate, personally for you? This, uh, this game, you've got to live and breathe it. It's outside my doorstep, and I am serious, I want to get to the top. And that's what I do, I eat, sleep, train, repeat every single day. And like you say, it's don't stop until you get where you want to be. And it, it certainly makes life easier, doesn't it? As we know, some fighters have got to tra travel far and wide, you know, to get to do their training and go to different gyms. But as you said, it's on the doorstep. It's ideal, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect here. You've got everything. Do the training. Got no excuses. Definitely. I mean, speaking of being focused, is such an integral part of of the game. Being focused is. Do you you constantly remain in focus? Is that something that you think is one of your strong points? Yeah, you've got to stay focused all the time, you've got to learn new things. I mean, my dad will go over, over a lot of stuff and we just keep practicing and practicing day in and day out. And um, just keep keep working. Do you find it do you find it easy keeping your keeping your head in the sport like we said, eat, you know, sleep, train, repeat, is that sort of the motto you live by? Yeah, hundred percent. This game me, you've got to uh, you've got to breathe it. If you want to achieve anything, you have got to live and breathe this sport. But your dad's not about for a minute, so I've got to ask you, are there ever days where you feel like you want to have that little day off or you want to stay in bed a little bit longer? Do you ever have those days, Hugh? Every single day. There's <laughs> <laughs> a due question that one, yeah, every day. <laughs> Figures you've got no excuse now, mate. No excuse, exactly. you got to go. got to do it. <laughs> I mean, we, we often speak to fighters and more often than not, they say legacy is, is number one over many years that are is that something that you sort of live by as well? Legacy is the, comes up on top rather than you know chasing chasing the dollar, as they say. Never cared about the money. I'm not interested in the money whatsoever. Um, I've never ever wanted for anything anyway. It's always been the goal. Uh, so that's what we're chasing. Obviously, you know the ultimate goal, the ultimate dream for you, who he is to become a world champion, a future world champion. Um, just tell us, I mean, how confident are you now with the progress you're making, the experience you've got already? at just 26 years old, that you're going to become a future world champion? 100%. If I didn't think that at all, I'd pack it in tomorrow. Mm. It won't waste my time. Yeah. You know, the motto we sleep, you know, we train, repeat. Do you think that's the sort of the only, the only thing that's going to bring success is training your mind to think like that? I mean, there's, like we said, there's, there's no off days, is there? Just got to keep learning, keep practicing. Um, and this game here, all the experience I've had, has all put me to where I am today. I'm not at the easy route, I've had the hard route. And that's made me in good stead to when I do get them bounces. Last time we saw you against you know the tough and tough man in Marius Walsh, very experienced as well. Good performance from yourself, got the win. I mean, you suffered cut in that fight. Having been cut before, did this help you to remain sort of calm in that situation and just go on to get the job done? Yeah, I was trying to push uh, Marius White game out of his comfort zone. Um, and the plan was to keep pressure, pressure, and I was getting to him. Mm. And it was Ryan, but then as soon as the cut happened, I had to go back to the boxing. And they say it's easy enough with the boxing and stuff, so stuck to the game plan, and uh, yeah, easy win. <laughs> um, obviously, that fight was in December, Nick. Is there any news in the horizon when you might be up next? Uh, no dates, but hopefully uh, soon. So just waiting and seeing now, so hopefully we get a uh, date very soon. I mean, Eddie, Eddie has said um, that he likes the, the sound of the, of the David Price fight. I mean, is that, is that a fight that you would like next, or do you see your next opponent as maybe a step up from David Price? We've already said with that Price, so that, with, the, with the fight, so that's dead. Um, just whoever, I don't really get involved in the matchmaking. I'm not bothered. Like you say, I've always fought anyone. Um, it doesn't bother me. Do you personally feel we've seen your full potential yet, Huey, or is there still more to come, you know, the best yet to come from Huey Fury now moving forward? 
A lot of people say there's yet best to come, but it's okay saying it. Let's do it. Mm, yeah. So we'll see. I mean, like you said, you've never you've never ducked anybody. I mean, being just 26, you know, you fought Pula, you fought Bebekin, you know, you fought Joseph Parker. I mean, was that always your mindset when you turned pro to not just fight decent European taxi drivers? Is it always just to get the biggest and best names in order to learn and progress? Yeah, 100%. If you believe you're the best, you'll fight anyone. Yeah. No point ducking and diving. At this uh, at the end of the day, it's a fighting man's game. You're not in there to dodge people. If you can fight, you can fight. Put them with anyone. Do you think that's maybe one of the maybe one of the downsides of boxing is that you you know you get so many prospects and they they sort of pad their record out a bit too much and then we've got to wait for fight 23, 24 before we actually see are they any good? Yeah, hundred percent. It's uh, hard to find, but when you willing to fight anyone, then obviously it's hard to get the matches as well. But time will come. Anyone when people get a padded record, they always get found out in the end. People within boxing and fans mostly, you know, seem to have this issue with the, with the boxer picking up a loss in their career and, and they, they seem to centre around that. But is it just a case of, I mean, as long as you learn from that loss, you know, you look at things that you need to change and improve upon, is it, you know, it's just a learning curve really, isn't it, moving forward? Yeah, a loss is nothing. You can keep uh, going as how you come back from a loss. Mm. You can be disappointed and go backwards from a loss. Or you think, yeah, I've learned a lot from that fight. I'll go forward now, put everything together. It's all experience. Losing is experience, you can't buy it. Mm. And when you're in there, and now it's just about going forward and progressing many things. I mean, there's not many people that leave the sport of boxing with a, with a, a zero intact on their record, who is there? No, it's a hard sport of boxing. <laughs> and it is, you've got to, um, you've got to respect any fight that's in it. Definitely. Um, you know, with all the all the belts that are tied up at the moment, how long do you think it's going to be? You know, until you think you're going to get another shot at a real title, are you, are you just stay impatient, or have you got a route to plan in your head? You just don't know. You just got to stay positive, and I believe my time will come. Definitely. Just tell us who finally. I mean, what does the perfect sort of 2021 20, and beyond look like for you, mate? Just getting there, uh, staying busy, and uh, who knows? How you say? It's uh, whoever fights, get the wins, that's all matters. Moving forward, one step closer towards the goal. Well, we can move well. On behalf of Kira and myself, and Southwest Boxing Media, here we thanks for allowing us in today. Thanks for giving us your time, it's been a pleasure. We wish you all the best in 2021 and beyond. Thank you very much. God Thank bless you. Appreciate it, mate.